Hey there, fellows. So what are we up to this time? Well, we've got this car hanging on the lift. We've already tried replacing the bearings on this with bearings made out of bits of leather belt. I'm sure you remember how that ended. Despite all of that, the motor still runs. And so we got to thinking what we could do with it. As in what else we could use instead of regular engine bearings. I even suggested using felt. But if that's the situation and we can't think of what to use, instead of your normal bearings, well... In that case, we're not going to install anything at all. Who even knows what sort of noise an engine with no bearings is going to make? Have you ever heard one? I haven't. Okay, let's slap all of it together, start the engine, and see what happens to it. Let's do this. Fellas, I'd just like to say thank you for your support and for your kind words. I'm well now and everything's good. Now you yourselves take care and make sure to take all of the necessary precautions given the situation we're in. Now the latest addition to our online shop are these lovely face masks that'll help keep you safe from all sorts of nasty infections. Now at the moment it's August and the rainy autumn season is right around the corner, meaning it's time to buy some warm clothing. We're offering you guys these fantastic hoodies from our shop and as of recently we've also got these awesome vests for sale. On top of that we've got a bunch of other stuff and and we're always adding something new to the product line. For example, not too long ago we began to offer these nifty lighters and air fresheners. So go ahead and give our online shop a visit. Get yourself some G54 merch. And when using the code from the video description, you can buy some stuff at a good discount. How long will an engine run with no bearings? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so this was a very simple process. All we needed to do was attach the caps, which we have. Can you hear that? That is a lot of playing. This is just bonkers. No bearings and this is what you get. Sounds like an alarm clock, I don't know. That is some nasty rattling. Okay, now we just need to finish assembly, pour in some motor oil. Oh, thank you. And then we try starting the car. Take a listen, have some fun, see what happens. All right, we are looking good. Oh, we forgot to replace the oil filter. We forgot the filter. Whatever, we'll just run the old one. Let's see how well it even starts. Oh, my point exactly. Well, it runs, and there isn't any knocking. Even the oil pressure light is off. That was painful. Give it some gas. That's the first seized engine in years. Amazing. Right. So what? Nothing, just a seized engine. On this side, everything seems to be good and well. Some connection has become loose. Congratulations, now we need to tear it down, throw it back together and fire it back up. No signs of anything bad happening in here, aside from a bit of oil coming through the breather. Otherwise, it's all right. So a lot of engine without any bearings is very much able to run. The oil pressure light switched off after four grand. Oh wow, even the oil pressure warning light turned off. Incredible. 
Нифига себе. No. How can we turn it over? I'm sure it's just a bolt that came loose or something. It broke the engine block. Grab some kind of pan, please. Somebody? Oh yeah, what a gigantic pan. Well, isn't that something? So much oil. Yeah, a lot of oil. Turn it. Well, the gasket is torn for some reason. Oh my. Good heavens. Look at that. Wow. Another bolt came undone? Oh, I know that guy. His name is Piston. Yeah, I saw him. Look at this. This bolt is broken. There's meat inside the nut. And there's another one right here. And this guy used to be Piston. Oh, wow, I like how it popped out. Didn't get far, though. Man, we did the number on this one. We did well. Absolutely. We need to remove the head. Why? To get a better look. I don't know. Okay, fellas, we've removed the head, and what do we see? Well, from here we clearly see that at least two pistons are a bit twisted. That's a clear indication that something's up. There we are. Nice. Pulling out. Piston number four. We see that the skirt has either come into contact with the crankshaft, or maybe the rod was the first to give in. I'm afraid that's something we can't really determine. But the rod itself is quite obviously broken. The spot where you'd have the bolt is all bent up. That had to have been from the impact. Oh, let's see where the block was smashed. I take it piston number four is what did that, resulting in the coolant mixing with the oil. Yeah, this is totaled. Look at how badly bent up it is. When all of this came flying apart, the skirt actually cut itself into the rod. That's pretty wild. So that's cylinder number four. And we found some more bits, holy cow! Where'd you even find that? They were just right there, on top of the crankshaft. So here we've got the rod cap. Just look at how badly it was overheated. It's even blue. I gather it took a hit. Nah, it sustained a few hits. You think it became blue with just one hit? My assumption is that it was under so much stress. What are those from? The piston rod, man. That we place here. So that was piston number four. Let's extract number three. There it is. The skirt on this one is beat up as well. And just look at what happened to the rod. It's all bent up. This right here contacted the crankshaft webbing. The piston was actually reaching it because of all of that play on account of us not running any bearings. Oh, wow, number two looks like what you'd find in a racing engine. Look at that, all low profile. Yeah, this is completely... That's not even a piston, just the crown. Is the rod in there? Okay, here's the corresponding rod. What's left of the piston is in the oil pan. That had a bunch of aluminum chunks swimming in it. Here the crown was just torn off. And all because of that play with the rod wobbling so badly. Upon severe impact, the aluminum is unable to cope and ends up cracking and crumbling. That was... Cylinder number two. But there's actually some other pleasant news to report out of cylinder number two. Okay, cylinder one seems to be fine. Absolutely no damage done to it. The skirts are good. The piston held up fine. So did the piston rod. 
though I think it might be slightly bent. Yeah, there is a slight bend to it. But for some reason it seems to be pushed to the side, that's weird. Now I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but there is a slight bend. After examining the pistons and rods, now let's have a look at the cylinder head. At a quick glance it seems to be faring well enough. The valves are straight, there is nothing bent up. I don't see any evidence of it taking a hit. But if we were to take the piston and place it next to the head, you can see an imprint of the combustion chamber on the piston crown. See that? Now that tells us that there was a bit of contact happening. The head is okay though, regardless. Now thanks to that recess on the piston, even when everything was coming into close proximity, there could have even been some valves open at that moment, but they were very much safe from being bent. I'm pretty sure that now you guys are interested in finding out why there was coolant mixed with the motor oil. Here's the reason right here. In that cylinder where the piston's crown was torn off, the rod had to go at the cylinder wall, completely tearing it apart. And I mean, it absolutely ravaged the cylinder wall. Though for me personally, it would have been way more interesting if it had gone through the block. If the rod were to be poking right through the engine, that would have been quite a sight. But even like this, this is a vivid enough picture. Right, fellas, I'd say we've just conducted a rather interesting experiment. So yeah, you keep track of these sorts of things, like oil level, to avoid possible spun bearings, knocks developing. And if you actually do hear a knocking noise coming from the engine, don't continue running that engine. Otherwise, you might be dealing with total loss of your car's motor. Okay, fellas, this experiment has been a tremendous success. You saw it all. Watch us, subscribe, suggestions, comments, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.